allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to welcome everybody to the meeting tonight on behalf of the board. And uh, Mr. Latchmore, would you take a, a roll call for the attendance, please? Trustee Pelkey. Here. Trustee Menard. Trustee Rodriguez. Here. Trustee Arno. Present. Mayor Labounty. Here. Um, there is nobody that want, wishes to address that signed up for the public, so we'll go into uh, accepting the minutes of the November 7, 2022 regular meeting. All the trustees should have a copy of those minutes. If there's any changes or questions on those meetings, uh, uh, or those minutes rather, uh, now's the time to bring it up. If not, then I need a motion to accept those. I make a motion to accept the minutes as printed. Second. All those in favor of accepting the minutes? Aye. 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 All those opposed? The ayes have it. Uh, Mrs. Pelkey, the bills? No additions, no deletions. No, no additions. I make a motion. We need the second on that. Second. All those in favor of paying the bills? Aye. 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 All those opposed? The ayes have it. Uh, correspondence? Mr. Latchmore. I only have two things for correspondence. Number one is I just want to let everybody know that we did, the village did apply for the um, water treatment plant improvement grant once again. And on November 14th, we received a declination that the village is not eligible, but they do encourage us to uh, reapply in the future. So I gave everybody a copy of that notice. Um, they did say in the application that our that our application was complete though. So I mean at least we know it wasn't an application problem. The other correspondence that I have is um, that I want to let everybody know that um, Trustee Arno, Adam Bernard, John Bernard, and myself all made a visit to the uh, the Crate Civic Center about a month ago to take a look at some items in the crate that we felt that. Village of Ross's Point could use here at the Civic Center as far as the salvage um, because the crate Civic Center will be demolished. So the mayor allowed us to go into the crate. Benny and I, as I mentioned, Adam and John, we went through and we took a look at some of the items that we felt that would benefit the village. And we sent a, um, I sent an email over to the city of Plattsburgh indicating the items that we felt that would be uh, beneficial to the village. The city sent back and asked us if we could place a bid on the items. I talked to, uh, to Benny and the mayor and we sent them a, a bid on the items and the city of Plattsburgh denied our bid. So the items that we were looking for will belong to whoever they give the bid to the demolition on the building. Um, the items that we were looking at were if we wanted to acquire some bleachers um, some breakers that we felt that were compatible to our electrical system here. Um, we were looking at some cafeteria supplies, um, some stackable chairs. We wanted to get the soccer turf and the flooring that goes over that, the netting. Um, there was a fire um, electric panel system, is that what we yeah. refer to it as, Benny, um, that we wanted to install here because there's no fire alarm system here at, at the Civic Center. And there might have been a few other miscellaneous items. Yeah. But um, unfortunately, they uh, they did not accept their bid. Okay. Anything else, Mr. Blackmore? No, that's all that I have. Thank you. Um, I have a couple things. Um, uh, Mr. Cooper, the code officer, needs to do uh, authorization for travel for training uh, and if there's no discussion on that I will have uh, the administrator take a roll call vote for that approval Does anyone like to talk about the, uh, the travel expense for the code officer trustee Pelkey I'll Any questions? No, I'm all set. I'll put in the form of a motion. 
Okay, I'll second that. Uh, Mr. Letchmore. Trustee Palkey. Aye. Trustee Rodriguez. Aye. Trustee Arno. Aye. Mayor Labounty. Aye. Uh, the authorization has been approved by the board, so Mr. Cooper has been authorized for all costs for his travel for training. The only other thing I have is I would like to uh, request an executive session to talk about some personnel issues and, and possible contractual uh, issues that, that the village may incur. So uh, I need someone to put that in the form of a motion to go in executive session. So, so called. Second. All those in favor of going into executive session? Aye. Aye. All those opposed, we'll have an executive session at the end of the meeting. Uh, that's all I have at this point. And the other thing is, uh, Mr. Arnold, before I, uh, Trustee Arnold has asked me as the mayor to uh, serve hot chocolate on the night of the uh, holiday train, and I, and I will do my best not to spill any and, and serve the public. Uh, Mr. Arnold has indicated he helped me set up the the uh, facilities, and I'll be more than glad to do that for the public and the residents. So uh, that's all I have. Uh, Trustee Arnold, do you have anything you'd like to bring up? I got a lot of thank yous. Okay. I'd like to thank the electric department for uh, doing up the Christmas decorations. I'd like to thank the street department for taking down the banners on the streets. And I'd like to thank the water department for putting up all the decorations in the village garage for the kids' uh, uh, Christmas uh, doings. That's on December 2nd at 6 p.m. It will start at the Rouse Park and walk down to the village gazebo and have the tree lighting and Santa Claus will be visiting. That's all I have. Thank you. Uh Trustee Veneer is not here. Trustee Belke, do you have anything you want to bring up? Yes, I have a couple things. Um, if you notice, there's some construction going on behind the fire station. Um, the Public Works Department is replacing between 60 and 80 feet of uh, pressure line that um, wasn't backfilled properly by the contractors when we installed it. So they excavated it out today and they figured there's about 60 to 80 feet that, have, that has to be replaced. And uh, the reason why they're replacing it is because the stones are piercing through the pipe. And they had two breaks there within the last month. So to, so we don't have any further breaks in the future. I, I went down and looked at it the first time. It looked like they didn't put any sand base. Right. And based on that, it was right on the ledge and it was cracking the, uh, yes. the piping. Yes. And they dug back both ways and they found a good sand base. So there was just one section of about 60, 80 feet that they're going to replace. Yeah, so right. that's what they're going back there something that has to be done. It should be done before the ground freezes. Unfortunately, it wasn't a budgeted item, but it's kind of an emergency situation. Um, the second thing is uh, we borrowed the screener from the town, and they screened all our new sand that we brought in. It takes all the stones out. While I was here, they screened all the blacktop that came off Smith Street, and they had a, a really nice product out of it. It separates the big chunks from the small chunks, and we can use uh, the larger stuff. So when they do this little walkway or this pathway to the stage, they're going to use that as a base. And then they have all this other smaller stone that is going to be used throughout the village for backfilling, like any cuts or reusable material rather than being wasted. So it was good that uh, it was a good idea to, to use that material. And just to clarify, uh, once again, in case somebody missed it, we're doing that for keeping the vehicles off the pathway for the walkway. Yes. And when they bring in uh, some equipment for the stage or our 4th of July celebration, that will alleviate ruts and having the people go on the walkway. Yes. And they can get emergency vehicles down there a lot easier. Perfect. Perfect. That path's going to be eventually. Um, the last thing I have is I want to welcome a few businesses to our village. Um, downtown you can see there's a couple storefronts that are filling up we have uh, city fashions that went in and, uh, and the second place is uh, happy hours hair and nails so these buildings are starting to light up and uh, starting to fill in our downtown so it's really good to see uh, people start using these storefronts um, there's activity at the old uh, old times apparently that might be opening soon so 
It's all good news. It's all good news to see our downtown start to boom and let these small businesses come into into Rounds Point and hopefully we all uh, we all visit them and picture them. So. Support them, correct. Yes, support them. That's Maybe. all I have. Trustee Rodriguez. I have nothing. Trustee Cooper, or yeah, Trustee yeah. Cooper, Board of Enforcement Officer Cooper. Well, I was a I just promoted Cooper. you, Mr. Cooper. Thank you. <laughs> I just want to thank you, fellas, for allowing me to go back up to schooling again. It's just a very necessary part of the job. I wish there was more of it. There's so many things that they, they could cover if they don't, but they do the best they can of what we have to work with. Do you have to have so many contact hours? Yeah. Do you? Or to keep your certification? But the thing is that it's some of the stuff that they teach, uh, it's all for high rail, high rise buildings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It doesn't. Uh, it should be divided into two sections. It's not because of these small areas like we're in. It should be a, a course for that and one for the cities. They try to lump it all together in 40 hours. And you get some of it, but you don't get what you really need. At least maybe you can meet some contacts and get some numbers that you can. You know, if you do have a question, you can make a phone call. Yeah, we should. I, I've been speaking to Chris. I don't give me enough of the legal ease of it. Yeah. I want to speak to Chris. I'm going to get with John because i got two guys here that are actually really involved in the court system. And when I go up there this time, I'm going to bring a couple letters up. I'm going to get with Chris and John to write some letters to give us some more information on how to legally operate. Because we really don't have that kind of training. I have one other thing, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, um, one thing before uh, I want to ask Mr. Cooper. A couple of the residents, and I mentioned this before, Mr. Cooper, stopped me uh, and asked me about behind the blue building. There is a demo building. The fire department has been using it's, it's full of uh, rubbish, trees. And the residents indicated to me, and I can't blame them, that we have a code on, uh, laws on our book. We enforce it for the residents, and the village is not going to have to follow. Them. I don't think so. The village will follow the code just as well as any of the residential property. So. I, once again, I would like to bring it to your attention that that has to be inspected and do whatever you got to do to get that cleaned up. Mr. Mayor, you brought that up at the last meeting, and it was inspected. Okay. And I got with with Adam, and uh, I had to, I told him there was two dumpsters from our scrap dealer were to be picked up. I'd like permission from the village now that we've got two empty dishes. They just did it this week. I'd like to get permission the village to dispose of that car down there. It'll fit right in one of those dumpsters and we can have Arnold's come and pick it up. If we're legally, that's another thing. I really, I know it's a fire department thing. Somebody apparently was donated to them. Are we legal if we put it in our dumpster and get rid of it? Well, the thing I'm a little confused about, and that probably easy for me, is normally when these cars are used for uh, emergency demolition or whatever, using the jaws of life, the, the car that's been donated by one of the, our local uh, junkyards, usually when they're finished with it, the local junkyard will come and pick it up and, and take it away, and I don't understand why that hasn't well, been done. Well, that's been done, down there a long time, and when I went down and inspected the building again, the door was locked. We couldn't get in that, it neither was, but we couldn't do the interior, the exterior is a very deplorable state, should be taken the heck out of there. But I figured to start if we start, we give it to that darn car first because we got two empty dumpsters now. The boys could pick it up, one of our loaders is dropping in there, or I have no idea who donated. We could contact uh, at the fire department and see if they want it. If they don't, I'd like to get rid of that. I'd like to get things cleaned out for the spring. As soon as the stuff goes around the spring, that, that thing has to be moved out of there. Oh, okay. So long as we're working on it because it's definitely an eyesore. Well, definitely. So, okay. Thank you, Mr. Cooper. Uh, <clears throat> no, no, anybody from the public have anything to say about anything we talked about today? Mr. Cardin? Uh, uh, we did talk to Michael Blanc about that. Okay. And the guy that had owned that car said he was waiting to get a vehicle to get rid of it. He gave us the okay to get rid of that car. The village gets the money for the scrap, everything. So we started on the sewer main uh, project today. Hopefully within another couple days we can get that loaded up. Andy and Arnold will get rid of that. And okay. that'll be taken care of. So, but well, it is like, it like given to the village yeah. now. So we can, before it was somebody, they had the title to it, whatnot. We couldn't just go grab it, throw it in a dumpster. Okay. So 
sounds like we solved a little bit of a mystery and we're going to get rid of our some of our junk in the back. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, one other thing before I uh, we go into executive session, I'll let Trustee Arnold. I want to announce uh, this evening that I'm going to appoint Scott Richner as an alternate to the zoning board uh, and that uh, as an alternate. Mr. Richner will be on that board for an appointment until 2024. And, uh, I want to thank Mr. Richner for uh, accepting my invitation to do that. We need a variety of people from our, our village to participate, a variety of ages. I'm trying to uh, do that from the young to the old so we have different perspectives and get the uh, younger people involved. Uh, and I think Mr. Richner will make a good addition to our zoning board. So welcome aboard, Mr. Richner. That's all I have to say. Trustee Arnold, you have something? Yes, I'd like uh, the uh, fire department had a big sort of hole in the back when they're cutting them trees in the back. And I asked Mr. Racine from Champlain if he had any spare dirt because the village used all their spare dirt up to the sore plant to put in that new dumping station. So he said he'd look around and stuff like that. And I see today that they brought six loads and stuff. And I'd like to thank him for that, for bringing six loads, six hand loads of dirt. Anything else? No, that's it, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I'd like to have uh, a motion to go into executive session. I'll make a motion to go into, executive, into recess. Second. Recess. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? We're now going to go into executive session.